Get him, go! Yeah, son! Hit him, hit him! That's a stud! Hit him, hit him! Woo! It's off! <laughs> That's silly, boys! But hold on, before we get into this video of a fishing trip of a lifetime, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, baby! That's right, the hit RPG Raid Shadow Legends is back with over 80 million players worldwide. Choose from a wide variety of champions and use their skills to take on clan bosses, dungeons, or PvP. This month, Raid Shadow Legends and Monster Hunter are colliding in an amazing limited time crossover. Until March 5th, players will be able to collect five Monster Hunter themed legendary champions within Raid Shadow Legends. The five champions are based on the iconic Monster Hunter monsters. Bathalos, Xenogor, Gruner, Nier... I don't know how to say this stuff. Just look how cool they look. Look how cool they are! Everyone will be able to get the Rathalos Blademaster Legendary Champion for free simply by logging into Raid for seven days in a row until March 5th. Raid Shadow Legends is really a fun game. It's available on iOS and the Android for free and PC. It has awesome PvP content, and it's been a really good way to get me through these boring days where the wind blows and I can't fish. So if the wind is keeping you off the water and on the couch like me, Feel free to join my clan, World's Okayest Anglers, and we can play some PvP battle together. Also, Raid has recently introduced the Cursed City. The Cursed City has 100 stages to complete, including stages where you'll need to take down two of Raid's bosses at the same time. As you work your way through the Cursed City, complete its various quests, and you can even get your hands on a mythical champion. So be sure to download Raid Shadow Legends this holiday season and don't miss out on all the festive goodness. If you are a new player and click the link in the description or just scan the QR code on the screen right here, you can get some cool in-game loot. And once you hit level 15 in epic boss killer, Juliana. So just hit my link in the description, and once you're in and crushing enemies, come find me under the name Joe VT Fishing. Join my clan, and we will be legends together. Thank you so much for Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Give it a try. It helps out the channel a lot if you just scan the QR code or hit the link in the description and enjoy the video. We got the whole family. Guys, today is the most new tackle I've ever used on the boat ever. This is new. This is new. This, this, number six. We got a couple rods up there. That rod's new, so gonna talk. Anyways, boys, today we are going out for the big fish again. Sorry if I'm blurry, I don't care, I'm kind of busy. But big tuna showed back up on the shelf yesterday. So we're gonna go out. We're gonna give it a shot, for better, for worse. So, see you out there. All right, we're setting out. We got the double Mac 80s. We got, we'll, we'll put the long, we'll put the longs out first. We got a planer rod right there. Here, we'll put the longs out first. We got something cool to show you here in a second. It's gonna be nice. All right, something a little new that I'm doing. We got a Ballyhoo on the Stan Spam lightweight sword rod. Makes a great big tuner rod. The Max 50. I know you guys in South Florida love your planers. I like using them too, but it's a giant pain to have to leader fish in and it's kind of sketchy with uh, big tuna but there's a new development in the world of planer fishing so we got two small wax loops right here i got a planer with a long line clip boom that's clipped in and i got a snap swivel that has the bottom off. So, to trip a planer, it has to get pulled from the end. So, it'll get pulled, this will be tight. You'll be fighting just the fish. When this comes up, it's just like taking a swordfish weight off. You're just grabbing this, and then you're unloading this. So you're just fighting the fish, and there's no planer on it. Uh, whoever came up with that, I need to shake your hand because you're way smarter than me. But, we're out here, we're, uh, we marked a couple of fish, I believe, I don't see any uh, surface activity today yet. That's kind of how yesterday went as well, but I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. All right, we're hooked up on the jig. How about that? Nice and easy. If you're tired, we're gonna pass it off. Get that pipe right here up past the gas gap. Where is it? Grab the pipe. Oh. Gas gap. I got it. If we get vertical on it, this is where we're gonna be. You're gonna use your body weight on it. Real, 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 real. Guys, I gotta see the line. Get out of the way, please. Come on, Adam. Keep it up, brother. Keep them coming. All right, let me show you how to use this thing. All right, let's see. Are you gonna put it right in here? 
You're gonna reel up and you're just gonna use your body weight to lift them, just like that, all right? Just like that. See it, boys? All right, get some cranks in, get some cranks in. Make sure it keeps it nice and stable there, Brock. Make sure the lines, make sure the reels stay straight. Get some cranks on them. If you're tired, you can pass it off. Put it under your arm, put it under your arm. There you go. Yep. You can hold it for him if you need to, Brock. He's just staying underneath the boat right now. I'm pivoting off him, but he's just staying. Come on. Squat down and reel up. Squat down and reel up. Yep, yep. That's it right there. Yep. Come on. Yeah. I'll put the gap right here. Adam, hop on if he's getting tired. This is hard mode right here, boys. Pass it off. Keep it tight. 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 Coming to us. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Mean head shakes, boy. Yes, sir. Stop, fish, stop. Pass it off if you need to. Is that him? I can't see him. I saw him for a minute. Yeah, you got come. Keep him coming, brother. Yeah, son. It's a real one. You gonna pass it off? You gonna pass it off? I'm good on the reel. Alright. Keep it straight. Yep, come on. Come on. Keep on reeling. Keep on reeling. There you go. Keep them reeling. Speed, speed, speed. Switch if you need to. We got to You're getting free. Yep. All right. Got it. Nice. You're good. So switch it on over. Yep. Come on. Power, power, power. Got to get them moving. Come on, I see him. Brock, get on the other side. Get on the other side with the gaff. Keep him coming, you're close. Give it to me now. Heads up, boys. Let him get, let him get in there, boys. Come on, come on. It's a big one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Give me 10 feet, come on. Right hit him, Brock. Hit him, Brock. Hit him, Brock. Get him, Brock. Yes, yeah, son. Woo! Yeah! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Woo! Over the rail. One, two, three. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Good start, boys! Yes, sir! You got a train horn. Yes, sir, boys. Good start. Ooh. Yes, sir. Out of way, boys. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, boys. All right, we're gonna try to hook them off 50 from now on. Woo! Here, can you film this? Oh, gotta cook them still. Oh God, thank God we got him when he. Thank God we got him. Yes. That's why you don't hold up, boys. Hook just broke off of that jig. Well, boys. Come get you some of this right here, baby. Jumbo's this is what you live for, big tunas, boy. Yeah, son. Woo! How about that for a first day on the job right there, cuz? 
big jumbos on the jig. Never caught one on a jig before. It was crazy to do it like this on the shelf. But here we are. Well, we're gonna take some pictures real quick, and then we're gonna go back to fishing and try to get another one of these jumbos, dude. Day is made, yo. Let's go, boys. This is the horde. Please eat the 50. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on. Come on now. Come on now. Get tight, get tight, brother. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time, boys. All right, all right, Adam. Good hookup. All right, let's get on them. Heads up. All right. All right, heads up, heads up. That hole back. All right, boys. Number two. Keep it tight. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Keep it tight. All right. Want to switch off? Good time to switch off right now. All right, let's go, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Speed, speed, speed. Come on, speed, speed. Brock, you might have to jump in too. Yep, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Get it tight. Yep, come on now. Out of way, son. Come on. Get it. son. Yes, sir. You need a break just so good. Dude, those alejos are something. All right. Get you some, Brock. Or somebody. Get it right, get it tight. Keep on coming. Keep on going. Get you some, Brock. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. He's coming. Keep on reeling. Reel, 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 reel. Come off. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrely fish. Goodness gracious, son. He said, Brock, you're doing hard mode. Yep, nice and easy, nice and easy. Ooh, violent head shakes. Whoo! Shoo wee! Nice and easy, nice and easy. Slow lifts. Remember what happened to that last one? There you go. That way, Brock. That's it. Come on now. Ooh. Oh, he's a big one. You're a mean one. Mr. Tuna. There you go. Ooh. He's a little better fish, yo. Yep. Yeah, he's just heavy. Heavy, he's heavy. Ooh. He ain't let me get done now. When I grabbed it, when I first grabbed it. When I first grabbed it, I couldn't even, I couldn't even move it. One second, one grabbed. second. There you go. Now we got the real mustard on them. Come on. You gotta be really careful now. That drag is super high. Here, you got it? You got it? Chase. Y'all came here to catch it. Here. Here, you gotta stabilize it for him, Brock. Stabilize it for him. That pipe's badass, isn't it? It is a game changer. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up and reel, up and reel, up and reel. Get cranks. Up and reel. Up, 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 up. You gotta stand up a little bit faster. Who's it? Oh, we're fixing to. Putting a lot of heat on that rod. Yep. Yes, he ain't moving. He's just a mean one. He doesn't like that drag change, is what it is. He never liked, he never liked the drag change. As soon as he bumped it up, he got killed. Yeah, he's just mad about the drag. He's a, he's a strong one. 
I feel like we got him. We made some ground on him. We did. He's just mean. Them boys both real pretty good. Yeah. At least 50 foot each. Each. And then when Brock got on. Yeah. I don't know. He freaked out. Joe, yeah. Joe was driving on him. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Oh, you wasn't? No, he was just coming straight at us. He was being yeah. a mean, mean son of a gun. You wasn't giving me nothing. This little bad right Yeah. Here. Life changer right there. Yeah, leverage maker. Yes. Yep. I'm getting, I couldn't imagine. And it keeps it off that boat. Get your win, boys. You're about to get them back. It's a game of quarter turns. <laughs> Inches turn into miles very you quickly. You winning. You winning that game right now. Like I'm coming pretty good now. Yeah. Here you get, you can like a. Indeed. Shoot, I'm we're on a hard mode with this thing. At least we didn't hook him on a spin reel. Yeah. This is the way of the life when you fish with a one Joe VT fishing. This this thing right here has been the clutch pole right here. Yep. Clutch G. Clutch G, clutch pole. We'll see if we can. Is it down the road, Rod Joe? No, this is a PCH. Here, you want to take it? This is a PCH rail rod. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, finish them off. Finish them off, brother. Come on. 30 feet. All right, you got to hold the stable. As you can, come up to get a gaff in a second. I got him. Come on, come on, come on. Real. Come on. Keep his head pointed up. Yep, come on, come on. Come on. Good going, boy. We're going to make up in a turn. Come on. Right here. How are we making up? Yep, this is a weak spot go right here. Go, go, go. In a turn, in a turn, in a turn. 15 feet. You can give me 15 feet. You can give me 15 feet. I don't want to turn it. Yes, you can. Wait, wait, wait. Don't worry about the rod. Just worry about getting a line on the reel. Come on, put real cranks, real cranks on the reel. Oh, oh, come on. You gave him some. Real, real, real. He's giving it to you. Five feet. Real, real. <laughs> 10 more cranks, 15 more cranks. And you got it. Right. Oh, grab the rock. Real, 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 real. Gain, gain, gain. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Gain, gain, gain. We're gonna get him right here. Don't watch the rock. Yep, come on, come on. Real, 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 real. You're good. Don't worry about the rod. Keep worry about the fish. Give me like three cranks. Next turn. Next yep. Turn right I'd get him down. Here. No, 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 no. No surface. Come on, come on, crank him. Right here, come right on. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Right. Crank, 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 crank. Come on, fish. Let me see, let me see. I got, I got. We'll get I got it. Work. Good work, good work. Good yeah, you, get, you made it to that the top shot twice. Woo. Yeah, we're about a foot away. Yeah, we were very close. You're a mean one, yeah, Mr. Mean. Yellowfin Tuna. <laughs> get ready, Adam. Come 
on. We should have drilled them already. Well, you're about to get your shot. One more turn. Oh. Hit him, hit him. That's a stud. My God. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Wow. That's a big one. Woo! He is much bigger than the other one. Three. Yeah! <laughs> oh! There's one six. Oh my god. That's a one. 190. Yeah, that's a Look how fat he is. <laughs> oh, bro, what are we doing? We're, we're catching fish on jigs. Drop it back down. Where's that? Where's that 50? Get that jig out of his mouth. Get that jig out of his mouth. Let's hook it out of the Yeah, get it out of his mouth. We're going to put it on the 50. The, the wire is coming out the lid. Oh, it is? Yeah. I got another pink jig in there. That's a fat charmin. I'll take a beer. Yes. We're on, we're on. Oh, come on. Yep, we're on. Let's do it again, boys. Good. Hold that, hold that. All right. All right. All right. All right, we got another one, boys. Finally, we hook one on easy mode. Go, real, real. Yep, real, real, real. Got a bigger one, baby. We got another one on the, the good tackle this time. Praise God we got him on the good tackle. That thing right there, man. That thing. Shoo! He's got gains. I think you got, you got to catch this one so you can say you caught one bigger, go. bigger than his sister. You get, his sister caught one about 115 right over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You got caught in the rock. So that's good. That's good. Good job, boys. Yeah. You know, me and Will ain't touching this one. And for this rendition of Big Tuna Fishing, we got the Mac 50, just a regular 50. With Seaworks. Yeah, that's right. With the Seaworks 130 mainline, DTR Custom, and uh, 150 liter on a freaking Johnny jig. What kind of world are we living in? This is wild. <laughs> oh dang it, I, I freaking, I'm sorry, I capped you off. I provide, I provide, <laughs> I just provide the outfit for getting here. Other than that, I'm just here for the show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we're making a show today, boys. Look at these, look at these dudes. Yeah, they are. Make sure the rod stays in the rod holder. That's a sick old contender. Same thing they made our truck. Just good job, boys. We're putting on them. We're getting close. Saying it's not great. Putting on them, boys. The rod does look cool, so you gotta be close. We're right here. We, oh, yeah. we, we, we 35, 40 feet. Oh, yeah, we see him. Keep your wife's name out of my mouth. <laughs> Keep them coming, job, boys. boys. Keep them coming. The boys are putting on them right here, dude. It's a jumbo. Keep, uh, keep going guys, let's see some, some white. Size extra, extra large. Come on, Damn. come on, keep them coming. Keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. Real, real, real. real, real, real. real, 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 real. Hit them, hit them. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, you got one. <laughs> All right, how about a one and a two and a one, two, three. It's off. <laughs> That's silly, boys. That's silly. Come on, let's try that again. Come on, give me a hug. How about that? This is just silly. All right. Yeah, we barely have enough. All right, we're going to get these things taken care of and pulled. 
very very important process but thus concludes tuna fishing we're going to do some other kinds of fishing but i'm very very blessed to share this day with you guys this is as good as it gets right here three fish before 8 30. i'm going to see you guys at the dock when we're cutting these boys up with a sword knife in the box over the rail in the pail nice all right we're back moment of truth big one what will she be he's so fat he's got a thick tail 196 175. Yeah, you're close. I was close. Yeah, you're right. All right. Oh, oh. Oh, it's fun. Oh, she good. <laughs> That's a lot of meat, boys. Oh, you want it that bad? You want to come back down with it or you want it right there? We good. I think if we can take that other one. All right. Yeah, now we're gonna cut him. All righty, gang, back at the dock. You know what it is. Sword nine inch, medium flex. Back for jumbo season 2024. Feels good to be back. Straight down the lateral line. You're going all the way down to the bones. Playing tune is a lot of feeling and a lot of hearing. So you're gonna feel the bones on the wall, like right here, and you're gonna feel the bones on top of the loin. You're gonna come back, and you're gonna make a second cut, and you can hear the bones being scraped. So that's how you know you're all the way through. Now the hardest part of filleting these fish is on top of the dorsal fin. This is like trying to fillet through wood. It's very, very bad on your knife, but if you have a good knife and a sharp knife, you can keep it at the right angle, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna put a pilot cut right there, right on top, tuck these in so they don't stab me. Keep us. Oh, not bad at all. We keep a good, really the, the key to that is a sharp knife and a really, really steep angle. And look at that. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, oh, the first tuna loin of the year of our Lord 2024. It is good to be back, boys. All right, we're gonna have we have a lot more fish to fillet. I will see you guys in the kitchen grilling up some steak, boy. We in the kitchen, boys. It is the next day. Got us a blockski. Of some very fatty, very pretty yellow fin tuna that <laughs> I wrapped in paper towel. It's sticking to too much. Okay, all right, not good. Whatever. Um, yes, it doesn't get much better than this, folks. Uh, yeah. First time having yellow fin in like four months so I'm just gonna do it the good old good fashioned way which is um, I'm just gonna sear a steak that easy that easy boys and girls that's all I'm doing yeah I'm literally just gonna cut like cut into this Neanderthal style and just have at it have my way with it with the sword nine inch oh yeah all that like info on the knives and stuff oh check out this they sent me I got me a care package from these dudes Check me out, boys. Here we go, here we go. Y'all ain't ready for this, boys. Y'all ain't ready for this. So, in the past, I worked on five different boats. Um, so your stuff kind of disappears and people walk off with it. Sword uh, pliers. They're coming out with a new generation of them later this year. Love these, I've been very missing. Dude, check this out, bro. This is the fanciest sharpener I've ever seen. Yo. They sent me this as well. Boom. And the hats. Got me some nice hats. 
the material. <laughs> is it just a bland shirt? It's just a really comfy shirt. Bro, this is like a dress. Yo, <laughs> it's way too big. Hold on, let me get dressed off screen. It's so comfortable though. This might be my new nightgown. Dude. Oh, it's not too bad. I'm fat enough for it. <laughs> this is so comfy. They got the sword logo. Dang. They're really just about to be an outfit, uh, apparel outfit. Hey boys, Steve, Joe, Connor, thank you for the stuff. As always, thank you for the knife as always. Yeah, this stuff's awesome. Wow, it's so light. It's like too cold for me to wear this right now. I gotta put something else on. All right, all right, all right. But like I said, we just cutting from straight off the block, yo. And don't worry about the uh, Broncos stuff. Still Jags fan through and through, go Jags. Um, this is what happens when you have a bunch of friends that play in the NFL that you uh, used to coach and other people that you know that coach in the NFL. You get a bunch of random gear from them. So that's why I have a very, very comfy, nice insulated Broncos vest. Anyways, I'm gonna let this get up to like room temperature and uh, then I'm gonna eat it. Uh, so yeah, seeing like 30-ish minutes. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just gonna do some Creole. Like I said, I ain't eating in a while. Um, so I'm just doing it how I like it the best, which is like this. Actually, to be honest, I do like the Poke Bowl the best, but I ain't going to the mall today, AKA the Dollar General. Um, Cause it's too late for that. So we're just gonna go with some Cajun seasoning. Just like that. <laughs> Looks like a block of spam, dude. I don't know. I always feel like I, I get like not uniform shaped tuna. I always want my seared tuna to be like they get in the restaurants. It's just like a long rectangle, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I never get that and it like always kind of bothers me a little bit. I'm not trying to say like OCD bother, but like, I mean, it would be a little cooler if I could get it like that. So I got like this block of Spam tuna right here, perfect size, fit it right in the can. I just almost just started cooking um, and I forgot I'm a YouTube guy. I almost just missed it, boys and girls. Um, also, I'm using a drill as a uh, clip mount. It's actually working really good. All right, Spam block going in hot. Give me that good sizzle. Am I gonna get the good sizzle? Yes, sir. That's what you get when you're patient. When you're patient, good things come to those who are patient. Boys and girls. Oh, I'm so ready for this food. And we'll put this down too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Yes, sir. Also, I'm going to the Houston uh, tackle show, fishing show tomorrow. I don't know much about it. Uh, if I saw you there, great. I'm very happy. I saw you there. It's definitely gonna be over by the time this video gets up. I'm just telling you, but I'm going there. I don't know. I'm sure someone's gonna be like, oh, I was there Saturday and Sunday. I didn't see you. Yeah, well, I said it on my Instagram story. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, but yeah, I'm kinda looking forward to that. Kinda like a small version of iCast, I suppose. And uh, get to hang out in New City for a little bit and visit one of my best friends from high school lives there now, so I'll be able to see and hang, hang out with him too. But it'll be fun. Get to hang out in the city, the great city of Houston. Uh, I've only flown through there, so that kind of counts, but not really. But it'll be fun. The sword guys are there. That'll be cool. Uh, yeah. Going back to Texas for the second week in a row. Look at that. You see this? You see this right now, guys? I'm just, ba I'm over here balancing spam tuna. Balance it act. No, that's not impressive. You know what's impressive? Ah, come on, be impressive. Do it. Come on now, that's what I get. That's what I get for talking. Oh wait, imagine. 
That's what I get for talking. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Yes! Stay! That had worked for a little bit. Oh well, you get the idea. Oh, this is definitely getting burnt. Alright. That's good enough. <laughs> <coughs> It's not fully cooked unless you're coughing, am I right? I still can't get over how stupid the fishing was yesterday. This was yesterday, by the way. I time hopped you guys a little bit. <laughs> also, no one else is stupid. So there's probably, I'm gonna guess 30. There was probably about 30 jumbos caught yesterday between the 60 boats that were out there. There was more boats out there today because it was a uh, uh, Friday and slick home weather. One was caught with Aaron and also with a viewer. So they, the guy hit me up and said he was fishing with Aaron. Um, so that's cool. Joe VT boat are uh, catching fish. But that just goes to show you. Also, shout out Johnny Jigs because I'm not going to have to buy $300 worth of jigs like every other charter captain is today or tomorrow because but that's we just don't jig fish here like you'll have like two or three on the boat just because it's a jig you know but that's not really something we do for tuna here they just don't eat them that well except for yesterday and i guarantee we're just never going to see a jig bite on the shelf ever ever again for the rest of our lives i would not be surprised um i'm gonna eat how about that so yep very very blessed very lucky oh my goodness you cannot get better than this. It's good to be back, baby. It's so awkward cutting this with such a long knife. That is awesome. Well, boys, oh yeah, before I forget, I screwed a pooch on my last video talking about this. I did a podcast with some of my best friends that just started one in Mayport called uh, from the wheelhouse the link is below it's on spotify and on apple Podcasts. i talk about like my time in california and some really fun stories and funny stories from when i was working on the party boats forever and uh it was a really good time i'm gonna definitely do another one with them it's like it's a pretty long episode so part two will be coming eventually but um link is down below from the wheelhouse podcast it's gonna be it's a podcast about like mainly commercial fishing so if you're like into meathead stuff like me and commercial fishing that's a podcast to listen to um yeah but i'm gonna continue eating this guys thank you so much for watching especially if you stayed until this point um i love you guys and i'll see you next time goodbye okay stop recording <laughs>